Today, on the 15 to 20-ish minutes of daily movement for people with bad posture and mobility who want to move well, we're learning the famous leg lift of the sumatori known as shiko. Some sumatori are known to do 300 to 400 shiko first thing in the morning. Follow along with these shiko and you'll notice an instant improvement in hip mobility, leg and back strength, balance, and overall movement quality. Not to mention an increase in energy, confidence, and attractiveness. So stand up, prop up your device, step back, clear the space around you, and get ready to follow along because the daily movement begins in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, get some space. Back away. Get your space. You need to be able to kick out like sumo. And we're just going to start doing it, okay? We're not going to think too much. So, you know, just see what happens, all right? Lift your leg up. Okay. Feel a bit here. Just do it over here. Okay. We're just going to keep doing this until we, we start to notice some things happen, all right? Up. Put it down. Let's try to sink down a bit more. How do we get up now? How do you get up? Try to lift this leg. You just, what happens? You, you fall. It's easy from here, right? Do this. Okay, because you balance. Go like this. Now put your legs out like this. Try to do it. What happens? Oh, you need to balance on this leg. So how do we how do we balance on that leg? Well, we could do it wrong. We could go like this. <clears throat> we could go like that. Ha! Just like push. We could do that. That's not good though. Because that's like, tada! You know, there's this tension here. You know, the weight of us. So this push against. So it's like, push against the tension. So see how that feels? That's like, okay. Here's another way. Let's go over here first. Let's get the weight on this leg. Now can you lift it up? Not quite. Still fall down. So how do we, what, what is the condition we need? We need to have the weight completely on here before lifting it up. Because if you don't have the weight completely on here, you fall. Just experiment with it, just lift your leg. And try to keep it there. You can't. You can't keep it there. So, let's keep going. Let's keep going. How do we, how do we move our body far enough to the side so that we actually transfer the weight to this leg, allowing us to simply lift it up? Well, there's a few things you can do. You have this knee, right? See, if I move my knee like this, my body goes over, whoosh, like that. So you can be here, knee. This moves you to the side. What else? You can twist like this, right? That moves you to the side. Knee, twist, pretty good. What about a lean, opening up here? That'll do it. So let's put the knee forward. Let's twist over a bit. And let's get the body over there. Now, the higher you are, the less it's gonna work. The lower you go, it's gonna be easier, right? So there's four things. Knee, twist, um, lean and lower. So let's see if we can do it. Ready? Here, we're going to do it properly now. Not properly, better. You can use your hand here, that's okay. Ready? There you go. So remember the, the thing most people do is It's like, 
it's an absence of balance. Like when you go from here to there, you, your balance is gone. You're like on this whoo journey, <laughs> like boom, you know, you've lost balance. That means, that means if you're always moving like that, then all the in-between stuff where you're meant to have control, you don't have control and you just skip over that stuff all the time. You know, this is how people walk, right? Like, like okay, balanced, whee! You know, whee! No balance, balance, no balance, land. No balance, land. No balance, land. No balance, land. Push, no balance, land. Watch for yourself doing that. But not too closely, don't pay too much attention. <laughs> So, let's go to the other foot, right? Let's come down into this position. Can you do this position? See? Feet are out. Knees just go. And weightlifting are always like, uh, make sure your knees are over your toes. Make sure of it, make sure of it. Focus. Don't, don't focus too much, just go like this. It, it'll work right. Don't, don't try. So now you're down. So you don't want to be like this, right? You don't want to fall. You don't want to be like, huh. So let's see if we can just like keep the pelvis under us, right? If your pelvis is back here, see if you can just push it forward a bit. Just whoosh. Just get that pelvis under you, right? Okay, so now we're down. I feel a little bit of this here, right? Let's just come up, shake it out. Just get ready. Okay, let's go. Go like this, feet out, go down. Okay, now, lean over. Let your body twist a bit. Feel more weight on this foot. Push this out straight to go over more. Let's just take a, take a hand to the knee to make it a bit easier. Let's put that knee forward, right? We're, what are we feeling here? A lot of tension in this, in this knee, right? This thing's all stretched out. Okay, and then, you might have to do what I just did, cheat a little bit, and move your foot a bit closer. But don't just go, huh, right? If you do that, you're missing the hard part, because this is the hard part. Like, getting, the initiation of the movement from the ground is the hard part. That's what we're here to learn. That is the number one principle that we're here to learn, to stop skipping over the hard part of movements, to stop just doing a little bang, you know? That's how people lift, lift weights in dumbbell raises, right? In lateral raises, right? They go, bang, <laughs> bang, and it's all missing, all the hard part, it's all just missing, bang, same with this, bang, it's all missing, it's so easy when you do it like this, isn't it, oh. but you sacrifice everything else, let's do it again on, the, on this side, Okay, just get, get all your weight onto this leg. Get it all over there. Do what you gotta do. Doesn't, like, a sumo wrestler wouldn't need to have a shitty body position like this, but do what you gotta do, okay? Ooh. And then, put it back down, like slowly let it come down. Balance, right, we're getting balance because you gotta have balance. You gotta have balance the whole time. All right? This is a Qigong principle. Check the description, check out my mentor Edwin's Qigong course. This is the principle that we're using, empty set. Most people go, huh. check out this.
And that's what we're doing here. Let's go for some more, okay? Stretch this out. Just put this here, just, just for kind of control almost. Maybe just take your toe up just to make it a bit easier. Make it take it up to your toe, I mean, like heel up. And then, ooh, yeah, boom. So what happens at the top? Let it kind of, well, do whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. You can either have it kicked out or you can have it drip down. I don't think we're going to matter. It's not part of the exercise. Okay, the other one. Ready? Go down. Push the pelvis forward so you so you're up. Not like this. Go over. Knee forward. Twist. Go down a bit. Do what you're gonna to do to take weight off this foot, put it all onto this foot. And then lift it up. Ooh. So it's heavy, it's tough on the glutes, right? It's very tough. Whereas this is not. But this sucks. This is easy, but this sucks. It doesn't develop you at all. It's completely nothing. Let's see if we can get a bit of speed now, right? It's okay to just do it a little bit wrong. It's all right. Come over. Transfer your weight. And just pick it up. So you've learned to initiate movement properly. Or rather, you've learned a principle of initiating movement properly. Follow along. Sumers do like 300 a day or something. Let's try to get a bit fluid. Like you have to do the, the first part, the first lift. You should be able to put it back down again. If you can't just put it back down again, that means you're in this territory, right? Try to lift this and just put it back down again. You can't. You go over here, you lift it, you can put it back down again. That is burning my legs. Okay. Okay. That's a good one. See you tomorrow.